Hello Capricorn and welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with your weekly love read where in this video we're going to take a look at what is surrounding you in love for the upcoming days and week. This is a general love reading if it resonates hit that like button to let me know and if you would like to join the Cancer Moon community then you know what you need to do. This reading can be good for all Capricorn placements and to the cross watchers you're also welcome. If it doesn't resonate then guys a personal reading is where it's always at and if you would like to work with me then all the details on how to work with me will be in the descriptions box below. Capricorn we're going to open up the reading by taking a look at the strongest energy surrounding you with regards to the person that you were thinking of dealing with and connecting to in love and if you feel that your messages are not here then please be sure to check out your moon sign your rising sign and your venus sign as your messages may be over there well look at this first card coming through is the king of pentacles I like that for you because you're an earth sign and I typically look at the king of pentacles as Capricorn energy two of pentacles seven of swords the ace of pentacles Hmm. the four of swords the five of swords okay what's going on here what's at the bottom of the deck oh the lovers could be connecting to a gemini the lovers the high priestess the Empress okay there is someone here that you're connecting to on a romantic level there's a Knight of Cups hmm and we've got the strength card at the bottom with the magician okay what's going on let's have a look okay there is someone here this is your person knight of cups this is water energy cancer scorpio pisces there is someone here that has a romantic interest in you they are romantically interested in you however I get with the Knight of Cups someone who is inconsistent because it's an action card so it's like when someone wants to romance you they'll take action um, and then if they don't want to they don't want to right they to me the Knight of Cups is it's romantic but it's inconsistent you know um, and I feel because you're opening up the, your own reading with the King of Pentacles, I feel like you're looking for consistency. You're looking for consistency. You're looking for the signs. You're looking for signs of consistency. And the fact that the Two of Pentacles is here is telling me here that you're possibly connecting and dealing with someone, connecting to and dealing with someone who is very inconsistent or very wishy-washy here with you yeah sure you know they are romantic and they're kind and uh, they're considerate and they lend a listening ear or whatever it is that they do uh, but it's inconsistent two of pentacles it's very up and down it's not consistent and you're looking for the consistency you're looking for the consistency and I feel with the strength card it's really interesting because the strength card and the magician here and look at all these three cards have the infinity symbol I don't know if you can see that the infinity symbol is above the woman in the strength card the infinity symbol is above the magician here and we see the infinity symbol here in the two of pentacles So even though you may have a strong and spiritual 
and romantic and intense connection towards this person because I see it here the high priestess is here the lovers is here so you feel this connection you feel it strongly and you feel it intensely and you feel it on a romantic level like there's romantic feelings here however your intuition is telling you to resist or your intuition is telling you to hold back and not act on impulse and not act on these feelings or these urges that you have towards this person. You feel an intense attraction towards this person, but you are resisting those urges. You're resisting the desire or those desires that you have towards this person. You're resisting. And I feel like the reason why you're pulling back or you're resisting here is because you are looking for consistency from this person. Mm. And I see it here with the Four of Swords. It's kind of like your, you know, this relationship or this situation or this connection, it's currently under review and you are reviewing it. Hmm. yeah you're just not sure like you're just not sure of this person's true and real intentions here like you're looking at this person or you're connecting to this person and at this point it's not clear what this person's true and real intentions are but I feel like you're picking up on maybe some clues or you're picking up on the red flags that this person might just be someone who maybe wants to have a good time but again with the ace of pentacles here you're waiting for this person to offer you something more solid and offer you something more serious and I feel like that's why you're pulling back or you're retracting your energy from this person because you want to you're looking for the signs you're looking for the clues that this person uh, may want something more with you but I feel like you're doing it if you are pulling back and if you have stopped talking to this person, I feel like you're doing it to see what this person's true and real intentions are. That's why you're doing it. And with the Empress here, you're doing it out of self-respect. Okay, you're doing it out of self-respect. Um, hmm. This person, like, they are attracted to you. They're attracted. They admire you. Um, they think highly of you here. So let's just look at this Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here, Spirit? Why is the Seven of Swords here? The Knight of Cups, yeah, that's that's your person right there. Yeah. You're not sure if their intentions towards you are real and genuine. You're not sure. You're not sure. What's making you not sure? It's this inconsistency. It's this wishy-washy. It's the inconsistency, I'm telling you. And so this inconsistency could be things like, you know, not checking in with you every day. Uh, maybe they talk to you one week and then they, they stop talking to you the following week. Or maybe this is someone who says, I promise I'll call you tonight and then they don't call you. Like that's the inconsistency that I'm picking up. Whereas, you know, the King of Pentacles, if he says he's calling at five o'clock, he's calling at five o'clock. You know, mm. 
And I feel like that's what you're taking seriously here because those little details mean a lot to you. You know, you're looking at all the little details here. So if this person is saying that they're calling you at five and they're not calling you at five, that means a lot to you and that says a lot to you. Okay, let's find out what's going on with your person. So yeah, even with, sorry, the High Priestess is here with the Empress. Right now, I feel like you are withdrawing your energy. You're not, you're not initiating anything. You're not initiating any calls. You're not initiating anything to do with this person. The High Priestess and the Empress is feminine energy. It's passive energy. So you're kind of, you're there, but you're not initiating anything. So if this person was to call you, yeah, sure, you may answer the call and you'll respond politely because that's what the Empress does. You know, the Empress is like a goddess, male or female, it doesn't matter. Um, you will still be polite. You still will be civil and mature. I don't see you being disrespectful or anything like that. Um... But I do see some frustration here for you because the Five of Swords is in your energy. I do see that you are feeling frustrated with this person. Mm. But like I said with the High Priestess, you're just keeping your feelings and, and your thoughts very close to your chest. You're not revealing or you're not giving too much away right now i feel like the high priestess the empress here you are observing this person you're going to be observing them you're going to be observing their body language mm. you're just taking it all in you know the high priestess she's very very intuitive so you're picking up on something here you're feeling that something's a little off with this person you're feeling that something isn't right with this person. All right, Spirit, please show us the energy of the person that's, I was going to say Sagittarius, that Capricorn is connecting to. Maybe you are connecting to a Sagittarius. And then in that case, well, Sagittarius is mutable energy. So I'm getting that inconsistency. Okay, Knight of Swords. Hmm. That's interesting. Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, two knights, action, 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 death, Scorpio energy, the Sun card, Leo energy, the Ace of Cups, Hmm. Well, the sun is sitting on top of the Queen of Pentacles. So I do feel like this person, they do think the world of you here. Okay. They do think the world of you. Look at this, the Emperor. Ah, okay. The Emperor, the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. This takes a different turn, doesn't it? Ooh, Justice. Page of Cups. Oh. Okay. All right. Give me a moment. Well, things are taking a turn. This person does think the world of you. I, I get that with the sun. The sun is sitting on the Queen of Pentacles and you're the Queen of Pentacles. You've got the King of Pentacles, but I see you as the Queen of Pentacles also. Interesting. Interesting. I'm just, I'm looking at the cards and I'm thinking, where, where do I want to go from there? 
Um, okay. Knight of Wands. I'm going to have to clarify because I do feel Capricorn that this person is interested in you. But there is something here that they they need to put an end to. Okay, there's something here that they need to close out or end in their life. Now it could be a relationship with someone else, maybe they are seeing somebody else. Or it could be a project that they're needing to uh, tie up loose ends on here. Um, but there is something here that they need to wrap up. Okay, the death card is it's not, it's something coming to an end. Okay, so they need to close something up. They need to wrap something up. They need to let go of something here. Or they, they need to create an ending here in order to have this new beginning here with you or to have this relationship here with you because I do feel that this person does think the world of you. I feel like the reason why they have been showing up inconsistently for you or towards you is because they've, they've had to take care of business here with the emperor. Okay, this may be someone here with the Emperor that has a lot of responsibilities or obligations riding on them. You know, like a lot of people need this person. They have a lot of demands placed upon them. Uh, they take their job very, very seriously here. And it can feel like with the Emperor that this person is, is married to their business or they're married to their goal. They're very committed to a goal here. Um... And I feel like that's why you don't fully get this person's attention. That's why. Now it's interesting, you have the Ace of Pentacles here. They have the Ace of Pentacles also. I honestly feel that this person does want something serious and something stable here with you. But with the Death card and the Knight of Swords, I feel like they need to go through some kind of an ending um, that's the best way to put to explain it and to put it and they they need to wrap up a, a cycle here um, before they can fully come towards you because once they create this once they make changes here because they've got to make some changes here um, then they're free they're free to come towards you here Mm. I just need to clarify the death card. Why is the death card here, Spirit? Why is the death card here? Why is the death card here? But honestly, yeah, look at that. Five of Pentacles. Hmm. Yeah, they, like this person could be trying to make more money. Say, for example, the Five of Pentacles, it can speak to money or finances and not having enough. So it could be to do with wrapping up something financially. Um, mm. There's something here that is going on within this person's life that is kind of like oh, it's a waste of their time. And I feel like this person will realize it's a waste of time. And they, they need to abandon something here. They need to walk away from whatever this is because wherever they're investing their time and their energy and their resources, it's a waste of their time. And I feel like they will... They will cease this or they will put this to an end. Mm. I'm just going to grab another card. Yeah, look at that. Seven of Cups. I feel like this person has been chasing maybe some kind of a pipe dream. That's what it feels like. They've been chasing some kind of a pipe dream. 
that has been they've been leaking a lot of energy and money into maybe chasing a pipe dream here that they know they just need to cut their losses I know it's a different message but that's what's coming through um, mm. now the other message that I'm getting here for a small percentage of you this person may have been entertaining other options here with the seven of cups okay um, because this Ace of Cups tells me that this relationship or this connection could be fairly new, the one that you have with this person. It could be fairly new. It's still in the early stages for some of you. And whilst a relationship is still in the early stages, one is still free to explore other options okay when we're we're not committed to one person or the, or another just yet we're sort of kind of just free to kind of explore all all options to see which is the better option but i feel here with the ace of cups with all the options that this person has been entertaining you're the best option So it could have very well been that this person has been talking to many different people, yourself and someone else included, but it seems like they're going to put that situation to bed. They're going to put that to an end because they want something here with you. They're viewing you as the best option. Because mm. look, this Knight of Cups, he's coming towards you. You're the Empress. I don't blame this person. I c they are looking at you like you're the best that they've had or you're the best option or they see you as someone that they want to spend you know the rest of their life with they know that they're not going to get better than the empress you tick all the boxes for this person and all these are the options look at them then it's like this five of pentacles is a no it's a no All right, I'm just going to uh, look at this Ace of Pentacles and the Emperor. Yeah, the Two of Swords here. Mm. The Two of Swords. I feel like the Two of Swords, this is indecision. This is in between maybe uh, two minds. But I feel like this person is, especially with the Ace of Pentacles and the Emperor, they are deciding who they want to be with here. You know, they're choosing to no longer be in two minds about your connection or about your relationship. Hmm. I feel like this person does want to offer you something more more stable more serious i feel like they do want to commit to you but that two of swords that was the energy that you were picking up on they were the mixed signals that you were getting from this person but the emperor powers over the two of swords so this person's in control of that now Mm. so there is someone here that is going to be pursuing you this week Capricorn okay and maybe it is because you have taken a step back maybe it is because you have gone quiet and you're kind of giving this person an opportunity to miss you because when they think about you you bring a lot of happiness and a lot of joy you add value you add value to this person's life and they can see with the sun here that you add value to them that you make their day better and that's a really positive thing okay that's positive so i'm liking that let's grab a last parting message and or advice for our capricorn spirit angels and guides what last parting message 
or advice do you have for our Capricorns? What last parting message or advice do you have for our Capricorns? Oh, and you know what I've just realized? They've got the Emperor and you have the Empress. So this is a true match, you guys. This is a true match. I really like this. This person is handling... I feel like you're both handling this situation in a mature and responsible manner and way. Um, mm. I like that. The Emperor, the Empress. That's where you want to be. Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. You're each other's true counterparts. Okay, let's take a look. Chameleon Spirit, act as if. That's really funny. It's kind of funny. <laughs> I'll tell you why, because I feel that both of you are kind of like acting like chameleons with each other. Um, I feel for you, Capricorn, the chameleon spirit is coming through you by you withdrawing your energy. I don't feel like it's what you really want to do, but your intuition is telling you it's best. You're kind of making this person uh, sense that they don't really have you. But I feel like it's it's like a strategy or it's like a tactic that your intuition is telling you to use right now. And I feel like it's because it's the only way to figure out this person's true and real intentions. You know? And I feel like underneath, this person has very strong feelings for you here. They really, you know, there's a lot more going on underneath the surface of this person. So I feel like to a certain degree, they've been acting like a chameleon as well. Which is probably where the mixed signals are coming from. But if this person senses that they are going to lose you, I feel like that's where the emperor comes in and they're going to step up. If this is someone who's been acting indecisive, then they're going to they're going to counteract that. Is that how you say it? Because mm. the emperor is stepping up. This is someone who is stepping up. This is someone who is, you know, coming through with a strong posture. Whereas there's a lot of knights in their energy. There's three knights coming through their energy. And knights typically for me is kind of like that dating energy. You know, when you're just dating somebody or you're just seeing someone casually and it's not exclusive just yet. But the fact that the emperor is here tells me that this is someone that you are with all of these knights, you're casually seeing or you're dating. But what they really, really want is something serious here with you. And it's like with the Knight of uh, Swords that they just need to take that leap, you know, they just need to take that leap. It's like, what are you waiting for? I do feel with the Knight of Cups, there is a little bit of a sensitive side to this person that you're dealing with, though. Um, there's a sensitive side. Maybe they deep down inside feel a little insecure. Um, I don't know if insecurity is the word, but maybe they struggle with personal securities and but they come across with the emperor that they're confident and secure. Um, but you know when you first meet someone, you're trying to put your best foot forward at all times and you kind of don't want to scare the other person off. And I feel like that's how your person's been coming across. Yeah. All right, let's grab another one. Snake spirit, time to heal. That's really interesting because I'm seeing the snake as transformation. Okay, so I feel that your situation is undergoing transformation and change and especially with the death card here. It could be that your person is going through some kind of healing process right now, especially if they've lost money 
okay, or if they've they've um, experienced some kind of a loss here. They're going through a period of healing and a period of adjustment. But this person will bounce back from that, okay? Mm. All right, Capricorn, they're your messages. Hopefully that was helpful. Feel free to let me know if it did help you in any way, if it was of value to you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.